Hi, this is Muni. I am a solutions architect with Amazon Web Services based out of Seattle, Washington. In this video, I am going to give you a high level overview of AppStream 2.0 workflow and show you the steps in a visual format. This should help you understand different resources available in AppStream and deploy managed AppStream environment to your users. So let's get started. In order to deploy managed AppStream environment, an IT admin from your organization will need to first log into the AWS console and start with an AppStream resource called Image Builder. An Image Builder is like a virtual machine that is powered by Windows Server operating system where you will be able to install and configure different applications that you wanted to stream to your end users. As you can see, AppStream supports a wide variety of applications like MATLAB, Adobe, RJS, etc. Along with the applications, you can set the default application and window settings, which enables your end users to get started with applications quickly. Once you configure everything on the image builder, the next step is to kick off a snapshot process, which will create another resource called image. This snapshot process will capture all the applications along with the settings that you have configured on the image builder and write them to the image. Simply think of this image as a golden image of your image builder that has a copy of your applications and settings. Once the image is ready, we will create another resource called fleet, which is a group of streaming instances. Think of each streaming instance as a virtual machine that runs whatever applications and settings that the image contains. When creating the fleet, you can specify the minimum and maximum number of streaming instances and based on your user demand, the fleet size can grow and shrink by using auto scaling policies. All the streaming instances inside the fleet will run the same type of hardware. For example, if you choose to run the fleet on a graphics X large instance type, each streaming instance inside the fleet runs on a graphics X large instance type. Also, each streaming instance will be dedicated for one user and the number of streaming instances available represents the number of concurrent user sessions that a fleet can handle. Once we have created the fleet, we create another resource called stack. The stack will give you the ability to control end user actions on the AppStream session. The user actions would be something like users being able to copy paste or file upload download or even providing cloud storage options to the users. Since the AppStream session is non-persistent, with this cloud storage option, users would be able to save or retrieve their files from different cloud storage options like Google Drive or OneDrive or S3. Apart from these settings, you would also be able to configure other settings like application persistence or applying your own branding to the AppStream landing page. Finally, the stack will be assigned to the end users. The end user can use their own device that supports HTML5 browser and has connection to the internet to access the streaming session. This device could be laptop, Chromebook, iPad, or any device that has a latest browser which supports HTML5. Also, each streaming instance will be dedicated for one user and the number of streaming instances available represents the number of concurrent user sessions that a fleet can handle. So that's the high level overview of AppStream 2.0 workflow. Following these steps, you will be able to deploy managed AppStream environment to your users quickly and easily. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.